The perfect Kenyan safari. When you think of that, you probably think of the Maasai Mara. But is it really the best place to go on safari in Kenya? Let's find out. So, we're headed off for a road trip super early today. I don't think I'll ever get used to waking up super early for these th trips, but anyways, <laughs> we're starting off with our first hurdles just even before leaving. We've got a flat tire. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Mission tire has failed. So now we have to wait for Zanel's uh, friend who lent us the car to bring an inflator and inflate the tire and hopefully that works out. Thankfully we've managed to get the wheel inflated. Now we just need to go to the petrol station and hope it's not a puncture. <sighs> okay, the tire is sorted. Everyone's in the car. Go. As they say, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. We have started our journey at 10 o'clock. Today we're going to be going to Nanyuki and it's a three hour drive from Nairobi to Nanyuki. The weather in Nairobi right now, horrible. It's raining, it's cloudy. So fingers crossed Nanyuki is nice and sunny. Alright, so a three hour drive later and we have made it to our first stop which is this restaurant that's on the way uh, to Nanyuki. It's called Trout Tree Restaurant and I love the vibes of this place. It's like a tree house sort of vibe and apparently they serve the best trout in the area. So right behind you guys is their farm so it's fresh. Uh, trout that comes out from their farm and they have these colobus monkeys and hyrexes that are resident to this place the hyrexes are so cute we're yet to see some colobus monkeys i hope we get to see some because even they're really really beautiful for now let's dig in this is good fish hi martin don't bite don't bite next stop old pajetta Just made it into Old Pajetta Conservancy and oh my gosh, this place is so beautiful. Vast, vast land, loads of hills. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here. It has been literally 15 minutes since entering the Conservancy and we've already seen elephants, buffaloes, and I think there's a rhino far over there. And we have just made it to a beautiful place here in Old Pajeta called Kicheche Camp. Got some juice. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have just checked in and we're just uh, heading off to our rooms, leaving our bags and stuff. We're going to be staying here for the next three nights. Ooh. This here is our room for the night and oh my gosh. I love how it's just luxury set up under a tent you can hear the sound of all the animals outside and let me just show you guys around real quick so you got this cool place over here where you can just sit and look outside then if we come around here this is the bathroom everything has the little tent compartment so you have the shower um, the wash area and the toilet over here <gasps> <laughs> I don't. I, yo, I'm so short, I don't even think I can cover the whole. Nah, you can't. <laughs> if we come outside of the tent, this here is our view. Right over there is a watering hole where apparently every evening you have elephants that come and drink water from that watering hole. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> That's a lot of ducks swimming in the watering hole. How awesome is this? This piece is just amazing. This is going to be our ride for the day and Simon is going to be our guide for the day. We're on our way to our first game drive. I mean like the Mara was amazing with that open car but this is just another level of open. <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's 
So this place is 324 kilometers squared. We have seen more game over here than we did in the Mara, which we went to a few weeks ago. And the other thing is, it's currently 6.30 p.m. And in the Mara game reserve, by now you have to be back into your camp. Um, over here, we're still out in the game drive and we're even off-roading, which is insane. But on the eastern side, mm -hmm. we are not allowed to go off -road. Only when you see a sighting and if you're on the western part of the conservancy is where you can off-road. So this here is where we're going to be having our dinner. This place is so exclusive. One of the really cool things about it is that they make you feel like you're at home. <laughs> Good morning, Zanel. Good morning, guys. Good <laughs> morning, Jasper. Good morning. Last night, the whole night, you could just hear hyenas uh, right outside the camp. Our guide is saying that apparently there was a kill and uh, they were just calling each other so that they could come and feast. The thing with Nanyuki is it's at the base of Mount Kenya. So in the night, it tends to get very cold and right now even it's quite cold. So I have like one layer, two layer, three layer, then I got my Maasai Shuka and then there's a poncho. Under the poncho is a hot water bottle. That's how cold it is. But I really love the fact that Kicheche camp thinks about these things because coming into an open car like this and seeing that they've set up hot water bottles for us just to keep us warm. I'm really hoping that the sky clears out today. It would be so nice, like the sun is just over there trying to peek out. Mm. Yo, Jasper, can I have another jacket, man? I need another one. Take that one. <laughs> With this small, they're, they're kind of cute. <laughs> just so curious, they were just sniffing the car like a moment ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come, Shinzi, Shinzi, come, Shinzi, come. <laughs> this morning, we are going to have breakfast with a view. This morning's game drive has been so eventful. We've seen so many animals. What I really like about Old Pajeta is that it feels more exclusive than the Mara. So first of all, they have a whole west side that's been dedicated for being able to off-road and for people who are staying at the camps so you can get closer to the animals and there's less cars. Then they have the east side where if you want to come for a day game drive, you can go to the east side and it's only uh, for the people who are doing a day game drive. Lastly, I really enjoy the fact that there's not as many restrictions as when you enter the Mara game reserve. In the game reserve, you can't off-road, you can't get out of the car unless it's a designated picnic spot. So this here is Abraham and he just took us through a whole presentation explaining to us what Old Pajeta is all about. Right now, Old Pajeta is the largest black rhino sanctuary in East Africa and the conservation efforts that he has been explaining to us are mind-blowing, first of all. Hats off. Apparently, every single day, they will do a roll call for every rhino, so they need to be spotted by rangers every single day. And if a rhino isn't spotted for three days, then they'll start deploying a lot more um, rangers so that they can spot the rhino. We deploy this special elite unit. Okay. Uh, rangers have been doing rhino monitoring for the past 10, 15 years. If it's not seen, then on the sixth or seventh day, we now bring in an aerial survey. And the craziest thing is that when Old Pajeta started in the early 90s, there were just four rhinos, and now there are 142 black rhinos. We 
have stopped over for another sundowner. Luckily, it looks like somewhat of a sundowner. The sky is lit up just a little bit. You seem excited. <laughs> what are you doing? Cheers, 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 cheers. Good morning guys and welcome to day 3 here at Old Pajeta Kicheche camp and <laughs> we've barely been getting any sleep so today I'm running on 5 hours of sleep last night we spent by the bonfire we were just stargazing before some clouds decided to come and ruin the whole show super early morning it's currently 5 30 and a really cool thing that i love about this camp is that they'll give you a wake-up call when you want to wake up and they bring you a cup of coffee along with that which is really helping my case right now good morning you're uh, late as usual as usual <laughs> and the reason why we're leaving so early this morning is because we're headed off to collect a ranger because we're going to be doing something really special on the board this here is james james is one of the rangers from old pajeta today he's going to be guiding us on a walking safari so we're going to be going into the wild where all the rhinos, elephants, lions are and we're putting our lives at risk <laughs> but James is going to protect us the whole idea for this guided safari walk is so that we can see things that you don't usually see while you're in the car stuff like um, elephant dung or just the difference between you know, difference between all the poop, is that the right way to say it? Yeah, <laughs> when I'm driving, I try to avoid running over fresh elephant dung because I'll kill so many beetles and when you kill beetles you give chance to flies, nuisance flies. They spread diseases. If you kill the beetles also like the guinea fowls and the mongoose will not get food. Literally a whole ecosystem in the dung of an elephant. Wow. One thing about the old Pajeta Conservancy is that they have created a model of integration of livestock and the wildlife. So what they usually do is the livestock, they'll put them on certain patches of land. They'll stamp on the grass, drop their cow dung and new grass will grow which the rest of the wildlife can feed on once they move the cattle from there. That makes sure that animals will constantly have food to eat throughout the year. This is the kind of grass that you're saying animals can't eat generally, right? Yeah, if you look, it's quite hard. See, they just eat the topmost. And it has started drizzling. <laughs> we look so ridiculous right now. <laughs> Right behind us, way over there, we might witness a kill. A hyena is chasing a zebra's calf. It doesn't get tired. Oh my no, the hyena they don't get tired. They can chase for even a few going. Oh gosh. The hyena's back there, it's gotten tired. And it's abandoned the hunt. <laughs> but that was a really interesting sight. Well, that was a fun little morning exercise. But my feet are freaking drenched. Zanel, you wore heels to a safari walk. No, they're like... No, they have a bit of a heel. <laughs> it was comfortable. <sighs> a short nap later and I'm feeling good. Trying to catch up on sleep. The sun came out, so I decided to put my only shoes that I picked for this trip to dry um, but they haven't dried yet so this is the next best option <laughs> everyone else has picked two pairs of shoes I don't know why I didn't do that but anyways these are quite comfortable <laughs> Ugh, show offs let's go see some chimps so we have just come to the old Pajeta chimpanzee sanctuary 
Chimpanzees are not native to Kenya, so basically they rescue chimpanzees from Central Africa, West Africa. They bring them here and basically they're hoping to bring the numbers of chimpanzees back up because they're facing extinction. How many chimps do you have here in total? 36. 36 chimps? Yeah. Oh my gosh, wow. The guy over there is doing yoga. Look at how he's sitting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. <It's> good. <laughs> <laughs> we have to wear masks because of the whole pandemic issue. Their genetic makeup is 98.6% similar to ours. So if a human is infected, they go close to them, they could get COVID. So that is why there's huge boundaries that have been put in place so that we stay far away from them. <laughs> That's so human, like what? I know, right? He's no way, scratching dude. his bum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our final stop for the day before we head for the sundowner is to visit a blind rhino called Baraka. So if we're lucky, we might get to feed Baraka. How cool is that? I know, I can't believe. <laughs> Baraka is a blind black rhino and the main reason why they've kept him in an enclosure is because being a blind rhino he's very susceptible to being attacked by predators so they've kept him here to protect him and our ranger was just telling us that uh, Baraka is basically an ambassador of the black rhino species unfortunately an endangered species look at him it is very it's very no. Look at him, oh my god. <laughs> Give him. I like how before you feed him, he'll just open his mouth. <laughs> Here we go. So, the reason why Baraka has been blinded is he wasn't born blind. Basically what happened was he got into a territorial fight with another rhino which took off his first eye and then later on his other eye got infected so then he ended up getting blind but he is so cute I won't even lie. The worst part about this whole poaching issue of the rhinos is that their horn which is the reason why they're poached is literally the same makeup as a fingernail humanity sometimes can be so disappointing. <sighs> so right now we're in a rhino cemetery. This is a cemetery for the memorial of all the rhinos that have died because of either being poached, old age, or some of them even being the last rhinos of the species. Honestly, it's truly sad that <laughs> It just has to come to this, you know. These stories are so heartbreaking. And sometimes they kill some of them with the young ones. Some, there was one which is called Carol. She was pregnant, almost 12 months. Oh my gosh. And they just chopped the horn off. I think throughout this whole trip right now, I'm just really, really appreciating the work that old Pacheta has put into trying to conserve these rhinos and bringing up the population. I mean, again, getting the number from four rhinos all the way to 142 rhinos. That is an amazing, amazing job well done. And this, this, is, this is honorable. This is definitely very honorable. And I'm really, really proud of Old Pajeta Conservancy for doing such a thing. Tonight we're going to be having an early dinner because right after dinner we're going to go for a night game drive which by the way you can't do in the Masai Mara game reserve so I'm really excited to be seeing the animals in the night. There's a whole completely different vibe about that. I'll not lie, the food over here has been so good from day one. Every single meal has just been mind blowing. In the night you can't walk through the camp on your own because animals actually come through the fence 
and it can be dangerous to be on your own. So we usually get guided every night to our rooms. Right now we're being guided to our car. <coughs> you still think you're gonna get attacked? The canvas has to go down on my side. I'm an only child. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh, as usual, and then you get so cold in the night. We rely on the spotlight and the headlight. So with spotlight, it has got a red filter on top so that it doesn't damage the animal's eyes. Are you scared? Are you scared? Yes! Just because you saw an insect? I'm an only child. I'm scared. I wish I recorded that reaction. It was so hilarious. Finally got to see some cats. That was an epic game drive. I'll see you guys in the morning. It's our final morning here at Kicheche camp. I'm so sad to be going. The guys for Kicheche have literally made this a trip of a lifetime. Well, that being said, our final morning, we're heading off into the wild again. This time, to cycle. This trip is, has just been about cardio, cardio, cardio. Walking, <laughs> now we're doing mountain biking, I, hiking tomorrow. I know, right? If you guys can see that edge over there, that is Mount Kenya. It's revealing itself, finally! Alright, that's and my bike. Right and off we go into the wild. <laughs> Oh man, I wish I could freehand like that. Whee! <laughs> As we approach the jungle, there may be a risk that we may never... Oops! Yep, we'll never come back! <laughs> it, never happened, no. <laughs> it did happen. <laughs> Jasper just fell. <laughs> what just happened there? <laughs> he just flipped. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Ah. That was some serious morning exercise. Wow. <sighs> I won. You won. I won. I won. <laughs> we all started racing and then we started racing with our guide car. Of course, he let us win, but <laughs> that was an insane morning bicycle ride. Wow. So, to answer my question, is the Mara really the best place to go on safari? Well, in a nutshell, every safari that you go to will be extremely unique and different in its own way. You'll always experience something new and amazing. What I found about Old Pajeta is that it was more of a hands-on, in the wild sort of safari experience. And of course, the large population of rhinos that they had over there was definitely something really unique. So guys, with that, I highly recommend that you visit this place. Check out Kicheche Camp. The service has been amazing. The food has been amazing. That Everyone's been so nice over here. I highly, highly recommend this place. With that, thank you guys so much much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button if you're new here consider subscribing and if you want to learn how to take videos like mine or if you want to learn how to edit like I do I have a guide for the top five tips on how to make your videos better so definitely check that out thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace I can't reach the camera